That's right. Hey everybody, how's it going? Get me out here, and welcome to my set of theorycraft videos for Dark Moon Fair. So we're changing things up a little bit this expansion. We're going to be doing two classes per video to save myself and you guys a little bit of time. So what you guys can do is down in the description, or there's little chapters here on YouTube, you guys can go ahead and skip to whatever class you're interested in. Uh, for each of these classes, uh, each class will have four decks, so at least two meta and at least two off-meta decks that each use at least one new card. Uh, so that way, everybody has a little bit of something, right? Where regardless of how you play this game, what rank you play this game, what classes you enjoy, what archetypes you enjoy, there's a little bit of something for everybody. So if you guys want to check out any of the gameplay of these decks that I'm talking about tonight live, make sure you guys head on over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash getmeouth, and drop a follow so that you guys know when I go live that you can watch me play and refine any of these deck lists once the expansion drops. Uh, if you guys are looking for any refined deck lists as we move through the first couple of weeks of the expansion, make sure you guys join my Discord or follow me over on Twitter, or I'll be posting any of the lists uh, once I'm happy with them uh, for every class and any deck that I play. Uh, and if you guys miss any of that, gameplay highlights will be uploaded to YouTube uh, you know, pretty frequently for the next month or two. So make sure you guys drop a sub here if you guys enjoy my content. For each of these videos, if you guys are looking for deck lists, make sure you guys check the description down below where you will find links to a spreadsheet and all the codes for the specific decks and classes that we talk about. If you guys enjoy my content, make sure you guys leave a like and head down to the comments to let me know what you guys think about my list and, and what you guys might be trying out once the expansion drops. I hope you guys enjoy and with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So the first class we're going to talk about is Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunter continues to struggle just a little bit in WoW, but it got a bunch of new cards that look like they're pushing uh, some established archetypes in a really interesting direction. So the first that we're going to be talking about is Odd Demon Hunter. So specifically with Acrobatics and Stilt Stepper, Odd Demon Hunter is being pushed into a very heavy one-drop centric you know, build with about 15 to 20 uh, one-drops. Um, honestly, I have Glaivebound Adepts on my list, and they probably are still too heavy. I just couldn't bring myself to cut Glaivebounds because they're pretty good. Um, but they probably should be Mana burn, so make sure you guys uh, try it out and see how they feel. Um, but yeah, Odd Demon Hunter, I'm really excited for Acrobatics and Still Stepper. They both look like very, very good cards. Uh, and hopefully they can uh, save Odd Demon Hunter, bring it back to at least a shell of its former self. Remember when it used to be the best deck in the format? Yeah, that felt like forever ago. So next up we have Soul Demon, which is like a standard, classic, standard powerhouse. Uh, and in Wild, it gets two new cards with Bran and Lothab. Uh, the kind of big winner for this deck is Bladed Lady, a 1-mana 6-6. Six, six. Uh, feels kind of insane. And then you give it Rush, and that's even more insane. Um, feel free to, to net deck this, but what I would really look forward to doing um, is just, just wait a week and, and see how the standard lists kind of shake up and what people are playing and then just kind of net deck that for wild because the only additions you get for Soul Demon Hunter and wild are really brand and sometimes Lothab. So this is my theory craft. I basically took the standard list. <laughs> I, I won't you know, be ashamed to admit that, but feel free to check out the standard theory crafts as well for some other ideas about how to build this list. Next up is an idea I had when I was going through my uh, card review videos, uh, an idea that I had that I just kind of had to put down on paper. So basically what this deck does, uh, it's like Miracle Rogue, but it's like Miracle Demon Hunter, um, where the line that I took here is you essentially have Redeemed Par Pariah, which is basically your questing adventures. You have Line Hopper, which is like your, your auctioneer, your cheap spells, tons of stuff to help you cycle through your deck. Uh, you got Double Yog and you got Arcane Giants, and you're going to just draw through your deck with a bunch of cheap spells. Um, and the one little spicy inclusion here, you've got one copy of Blur to combo with Yog Saron, Master of Fate, just in case you hit that 5% Rod of Roasting. When you do hit that 5%, there is no way you're losing. This deck's probably really, really bad, but looks insanely fun, and I'm excited to try it out. So for any of you guys that enjoy or watch any of my content, you guys know that Cute Lock was one of my favorite decks from Skull of Mates Academy. So this is the, the Warlock deck that abuses Hobgoblin and Gandling and a bunch of zero drops. And, and when I see stuff like Acrobatics, it makes me really, really interested uh, and intrigued to try out the same style of thing in Demon Hunter. Uh, because Demon Hunter has a bunch of really efficient, effective draw, uh, which allows you to kind of insanely quickly draw through your deck. Uh, we don't have Gandling, so the, the blowout potential is a lot lower, but stuff like Hobgoblin and then History Buff, so History Buff buffs all the one uh, one attack minions in your hand whenever you're playing the zero mana cards, so it's not exactly Gandling, but it's the next best thing uh, that I could find. Again, 
probably not a very good deck, but it's going to be insanely fun to play, so I'm excited to try it out. Now moving into Druid. Uh, so Druid, <laughs> I hate to say it, but Druid felt like it didn't get anything in the format. Um, the only two cards that I'm excited to kind of mess around with in the format are Umbral Owl, which is another card that's kind of in the vein of Arcane Tyrant or Anubisoft Defender, but I think it's a little bit better than those because it has Rush, and it's very easy for Druid to play 7 spells, right? Um, so the first deck I've got for you guys, uh, and the second is Solar Eclipse, just for the potential combos uh, and insane swing turns that you can pull off. Um, I'm not sure if it's ever worth running two of those on purpose, but we'll see. Uh, definitely something to mess around with. So the first deck I have for you guys for Druid uh, is kind of a revamped version of Jade Druid, um, which basically is his Kael'thas, a bunch of spells, two Yogs, um, and then a bunch of minions that discount themselves for playing spells, so like Anubis uh, Defender, Arcane Tyrant, and the Umbral Owl. Uh, there is one Ysera in here. The one Ysera is probably really, really greedy. Um, that should probably be a poison seed, especially if the, the meta is kind of demanding that. But this is kind of very reminiscent to the pre nerf J Druid builds with Kael'thas, and you just kind of combo off, play a turn five, you ultimate infestation, and then you're going to dump a bunch of stats to swing the board and at least stall until you can get your Jade engine rolling. Um, but yeah, that's, that's J Druid. Uh, after the nerf to Guardian Animals, I'm really looking for an effective build, and maybe and hopefully this is. And so kind of a different version of, of this ramp druid uh, is Guardian Animal Survival of the Fittest Druid. So this is a deck that I think uh, is a lot slower than, uh, you know, the, the Jade Druids and the Malagos Druids of the world. But uh, I think because of the fact that it's super, you know, kind of broken in standard sometimes, uh, just because it's, you know, the potential of being really, really strong in standard, um, I just kind of want to try it out in wild uh, and specifically the carnival clown survival of the fittest combo so essentially you you have the guardian animals package with twilight runners and grizzlies and while it's nerfed and it's a lot weaker than it used to be it's still like it's still a pretty strong card uh and essentially what we do is we cheat out these 10 drops with kalthos or we ramp super hard and hit the survival fittest or the ultimate infestation and when you do that you're going to get insanely buffed clowns uh, and Plague Minions, <laughs> and, and there's Anubisath Defenders, the, the Seven Nines, so it's a ton of stats, and in Druid you can probably get away with it because you ramp super hard. The problem is aggro's a lot faster in our format than it is in Standard, and so you might find yourself dead. Um, and if this is a super aggressive meta, this is probably not the deck to play, but if you're looking to play something that's not Jade Druid or Malagos Druid or Aggro Druid and trying to shake things up a little bit, uh, this is probably what I would lean towards. Okay, moving into a couple more fun builds uh, of Druid. So what I have for you is double Nizoth Druid. Yeah, so when I saw the new Nizoth and, and Fizzy Elemental being printed, there was really only one kind of deck that I wanted to try out, uh, which is this double Nizoth Druid. Uh, so this is essentially my kind of new take on Taunt Druid. So the early game plays very, very similar to pretty much every Druid deck you know. Ramp, 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 play Oaken Summons, get to, get to the big boys, right? Uh, turns out our big boys can start coming down on turn 5. All right, we've got Greybow, we've got Zilliax, then we've got Emerald Explorers on turn 6. Uh, and then we have this like Menagerie package with Curator, Fizzly Elementals, Hadro, Top End, Curving into Double Nazoths. So Nazoth the Corruptor obviously brings back Kartot Defenders and Hadronox. That's no surprise. It's Kartot Defenders are insane with Nazoth and it brings back Hadro, which is good. And then you look at Nizoth God of the Deep, and it does a very, very similar thing, right? It brings back Hadro because Hadro is the only beast in your deck. Uh, but then it brings back Fizzy Elemental, a 10 10 taunt with Rush because it's an elemental. It brings back Emerald Explorer because it's a dragon. It brings back Ziliax. Uh, and it brings back the Circus of Malcolm that we're trying out in our deck. So um, Taunt Druid has, has struggled to take off in the format. Uh, and maybe this new build has a little bit of something, right? Once we refine this list, uh, could have some potential staying power. Uh, Taunt Druid was one of my favorite decks in Standard, and so I'm really, really hoping it ends up being a thing in Wild. Uh, but yeah, so this is my new take on Nizoth Druid. And last but not least, we had to play some of the old gods, okay? You had to play old gods, and, and Druid is one of the best classes to do that because of the ramp and the stall that they have. Um, so what I've got on the screen for you guys is very similar to the Dra J Druid list uh, that I showed you for the first deck 
uh, of this portion. But, you know, kind of as our payoff, instead of playing Jade Idols, we actually have a win con because we run C'Thun. Um, C'Thun the Shattered. The draw and the ramp that you have in Druid kind of allows you to support this C'Thun package uh, and potentially start cheating out spells with Kael'thas as well. Uh, and then you have the Anubis Anubis the Defenders and the Arcane Tyrants and the Umbral Isles, just like the Jade Druid list, but you have even more synergy with those guys because of the five mana C'Thun spells. Uh, and then, of course, we have to play New Yogg because I think New Yogg is actually pretty damn strong. Uh, and Druid is one of the best classes that this fits in. Uh, it's a very, very good card. Uh, so if you open Golden C'Thun and want to assemble C'Thun Exodia, this is definitely, I think, the best list out of the ones that I'll show you guys. Uh, and probably has the most potential. I'm probably playing this one on day one, so make sure you guys tune in. And I hope you guys enjoy this. But those are going to be my Demon Hunter and Druid deck list. Uh, really, really quick run through. If you guys have any questions or any comments about any of my builds, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed them. I hope you guys take them to ladder and find success and have a lot of fun moving into the new expansion. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.